Yes guys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Player Review. I've done a few of the uh, player reviews on my channel. The Eusebio one did very well. Uh, it's got a, it's got a good amount of views. Um, and just, uh, it looked like you enjoyed it. So I thought I'd do uh, another player review on Thierry Henry. Um, this card, very good. Very good card. Um, he's a different type of player. He's six foot two, and uh, in game he feels very like a very big player. If you know what I mean, like he looks taller than he actually is, and he's quite chubby. He's got quite a big build. Um, but yeah, I played 70 games with him, scored 85 goals, got 31 assists, which is a very good return. Uh, it could be better, um, but it isn't bad to be honest. I know I've spent 1.4 million on him. I actually sniped him for cheaper than he is. But yeah. Um, into the faults of this card, what I'd say is medium medium is definitely a problem. He needs to have high medium or high low as a striker if you want to play him striker. Because medium medium is more of a centre attacking mid and he doesn't really fit centre attacking mid. Because he's quite a tall player, you know what I mean? He's like a Ronaldo basically because you stick him up front and he wins everything for you and finishes all the chances, wins the headers. He's not, he's not a centre attacking mid. And um, with this card, it's medium medium. So it's like you've got to play him centre attack in mid, but you don't want to. But yeah, I recommend if you buy this card, just try him at striker and see what you think. If you don't like it, move him back to centre attack in mid. It depends on what strikers you have, really. So say, for example, you've got CR7 up front. You'll get away with playing Thierry Henry at Cam. It's just I don't have that, obviously. It's the team I've been playing him in. I don't have CR7. Um, but when I do get him, Thierry Henry would get pushed back to centre attack in mid. If I still had Thierry Henry then. But yeah, this team that I'm playing him in is very good. Um, standout player of the team is probably Mbappe. Played a lot of games with him now. Um, but Henri is probably the best player in the team by a country mile, to be fair. He just finish it, finishes all the chances, everything. But yeah, into another problem on the card is the balance, which is 63. It isn't good because when you pass it to him and he controls the ball, he's a bit all over the place and you can see it. Um... 83 stamina not a problem, 83 strength for me, very good, don't have a problem with that, he's great. Um, the one thing I can tell though, he's got 88 agility, which isn't bad at all, but you can just tell when he's on the ball, and you compare him to a player like Hazard, like Mbappe, like Mane, you can just tell that he's not he's not as quick on the ball, and, and the when he first gets it, he feels like he's stuck a bit, and when you're playing bad gameplay... You'll really see that massively. Um, so when he's on the ball, yeah, you've got to you've got to take your time to finish. What I seem to do is, since the patch L2 wasn't in the game like um, beginning of the year, it was obviously very key in FIFA 18. Uh, but it's sort of back. And when you do L2 with him and you hold the ball, people struggle to get the ball off you. But if you got if you got about 1.5 million to 2 million coins, I recommend saving for Ronaldo and don't buy this card. Um, it's a great card though, so. It's worth giving a try, 100%. But into the shooting stats, he's got 91 finishing, 93 attack positioning, 83 shot power, 84 long shots, 86 volleys and 84 penalties. And there isn't a complaint with that, to be fair. Um, he's very good, very good in that aspect. Uh, you'd expect it, obviously, for 1.4 million. And Thierry Henry himself, the legend, the icon. Um, he's got 88 vision, 82 crossing. 84 free kick accuracy, um, 89 short pass and 76 long pass, and then 90 curve, which again very good. You can see the curve that's on the finesse shot and stuff. You can just you can see see it from a mile away. He's very good at that. His ball control. Here we go. Right. So it says 89. Let's compare this to Hazard and Mbappe. Uh, Hazard 96. 89 to 96. You're probably you're probably thinking in your head, what are you on about? Um, it's not a big difference, but trust me, you can see it by a mile. So with that 89 ball control is really poor. So let's compare it to Ronaldo. Let's see what he has. Because I'm really not too sure. But I feel like it's got to be higher. There we go. So Ronaldo has 87 agility. I know this is a better version of the card, but it doesn't matter. Ronaldo's got 87 agility, but he's got 94 ball control. So that's where it comes into it. So obviously the agility does affect Ronaldo slightly, but because he's got that ball control and general dribbling, it just doesn't. Um, but on this on record... I recommend if you're going to buy an Henri, obviously you go for the 93 version. 
Um, this card is just insane. I can imagine it being amazing because he's got way more pace. As you can see, he's got better ball control, even better agility. agility. Um, his shooting's better. Just everything's better. He's got better stamina. That's the prime card, obviously. So if you ever get the coins for that, I recommend it 100% because he will be amazing. I know I've not used him, but just by using this card, I know 100% that card will be great to use. Um, but if you're looking to buy this card, definitely I recommend you to buy it. I know I've talked quite negatively about it, but overall, if I was to give him a rating, I'll definitely give him a 9. And that's saying something because the ratings I've been giving players are about 7, 8, 8.5. This is the highest rated player I've given, I think. If you were to buy a player like him, like I did a review on Eusebio, make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it already. But then we've got the Eusebio versus Thierry Henry, completely different players, Eusebio is smaller. But in general, Eusebio is a hell of a lot better, he scores way more goals, he's just quicker on the ball, just everything about him, Eusebio is just better. But yeah, Thierry Henry, I'll give him a 9 out of 10, definitely a 9 out of 10. Um, this weekend league... I was 20 to 7. Uh, I have three games left to get a lead. I've had played a, I've had a great weekend considering the players I played against. But yeah, I just got beat against a very good squad, a very good player. I went 20 to 8 now. I've got two games left. I might just go into them and give people the wins. But yeah, I went. I got 20 wins, gold one. So it's not the end of the world. You still get good rewards. Last time I got gold one, I got no one from the player picks, but I got Aguero from the pack. So if it goes anything like that again, I won't be mad. Um, so yeah, on Thursday we've got two Jumbo Rare player packs, two player picks with four options and we get the 50,000 coins. And then we're obviously going to have um, Division Rivals rank 1, um, which are pretty good rewards as well. I'll probably take the untradeable this week, depends what I need. I've got Lukaku, if you didn't see that video as well, make sure you check it out. Um, but yeah. Then we've got squad battles as well that I uploaded last night. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. It's quite a good video. Uh, I didn't do any commentary because it was late at night. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. And if you were going to buy Henri, um, hopefully that's made a decision for you now that you're going to buy him or you're not going to buy him. But yeah, I definitely recommend you to pick up this card if you've got the coins because why not. Uh, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Uh, turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss any more videos. And peace out.